So how is it going? Dank Division, Dank Dan here, and it's time we talk about the Warzone devs doing a Washington Post interview. In which case, the developers Josh Brig, who happens to be the creative lead of Call of Duty Live Ops, and uh, Ted Timms, who is the senior creative director at Raven Software, to pretty much discuss a couple of things. Season 3, the event coming up, as well as they actually asked questions about the future. That is right, the future of Call of Duty. So let's dive in. So the first thing that they ended up pretty much discussing was just where Season 3 is going. They talked about how Season 1 was just pretty much getting Caldera integrated, getting things kind of rolling. Season 2, they put their main focus into Rebirth. That was the main focus for that aspect of Warzone, while this season is meant to focus pretty much on Caldera, especially with the event. Now, speaking of the event, in regards to the King Kong Godzilla event, one of them just happened to slip up and tell us exactly how many players are going to be on there. Because when talking about it, it was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be Godzilla and King Kong, and uh, you're going to have 60 players having to gang up on them. It was like, oh, well, there's our number. That is 60 players, which happens to be quads. So, uh, you know, do the math. It's going to be... A decent number of people, decent number of squads, all working together. It's pretty much sounding like it's going to play out very similar to the train event in 84 Verdansk when we got the reveal of none other than Vanguard. And let's face it, yes, Know Your History was a great event, but we also had it that I think a lot of people forget that people were gatekeeping the Bay of Pigs blueprint, that they were sitting where woods would be and preventing people from getting their hands on it. Now, another major thing that was discussed was why snipers? Why of all times in Season 3 of Vanguard was snipers the main focus of being edited in Warzone? There was a very simple answer. I don't think anyone's going to disagree. Snipers have s primarily been untouched since the inception of Warzone. Meaning, the same gun, i.e. the Car 98 k from Modern Warfare, as well as the Swiss, pretty much the light sniper rifles, the marksman rifles, if you will, type of uh, vibe, were pretty much dominating because they did the exact same damage, if not sometimes more damage, than the sniper rifle classes, and had the fast ADS. There was no point in it, and their reasoning behind fixing that was that there's no reward to running in the game and in the last two minutes of the match someone quick scopes you from across the map with a car 98k and you never see any action you are just dead on the spot so with their tweaking they decided to put snipers in their own thing and marksman rifles in their own thing now granted does this mean that the car 98k is useless hell no the car 98k is always going to be a viable weapon and so are the other marksman rifles but it just means having to actually choose what you're going to do with these things now the major topic that they te teased and talked about was oh i don't know warzone 2. now as we are already well aware warzone 2 from what we have heard is supposed to be from the ground up a completely new thing so it's not going to be directly linked to the current warzone that exists and the question was asked, all right, there's all of these cosmetics, all of these blueprints, all of these bundles that so many of us have bought, some of them being limited time, such as the Saw bundle or the Rambo bundle, or for that matter, when Godzilla drops, will be a limited time bundle. And the question was asked, are these things gonna transfer over? And their honest to God answer, was, hey, Call of Duty, since the beginning of its inception, has always had it that your DLC, the bundles, etc., were always linked to that particular game. When you got to the end of that game's life cycle, that was it. You knew that was going to happen. 
Because let's face it, back in games like Call of Duty Ghost, you had it that you could play as Price, you could play as Makarov if you really felt like spending in-game money. Go all the way back to Black Ops 2 if you really felt like it. You could buy the Pack-A-Punch camo. You could buy bacon as a camo, which is still to this day a hilarious thing. But you knew at that time that that was going to be strictly for that game and that you were not going to be able to use it in the following year. For the first time ever in Call of Duty's life, they now have to figure out what exactly they're going to do. Because the big issue is the game has become, as they have described it, bloated. All of these different things from all across the games have caused the file to become ginormous. The download size is ridiculous because you not only have Modern Warfare guns and operators, you also have Cold War and Vanguard all meshed together into a single thing. Let's also not forget, there are three 1911s in this game. J just to kind of put that idea out there, there are three 1911s. All with different attachments, all not necessarily with different stats, but all with different viabilities to them. A lot of people are now starting to pick sides of where they hope the devs go. And I am going to leave this as the question at the end of the video. What do you think they should do? Should it be a clean slate, meaning nothing transfers over? Meaning all of those bundles that you spent money on are going to stay in the current Warzone thing, and when you get to Warzone 2, it's a clean slate, everything's brand new, meaning the Rose skin doesn't exist, any of the cool skins that you bought, not going to be usable. Do you think they should do the middle ground, which is the skins will transfer over, while the weapons won't? Or, 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 this is the tricky one, should they attempt to find a way to slowly integrate blueprints over the course of time into Warzone 2? Meaning, for example, if you have a 1911 blueprint, have it that it gives the equivalent attachments so that it fires relatively the same to the blueprint you have, and cosmetically it looks exactly the same. Because there are quite a few Mastercraft bundles that we've all collected over time, and a million different tracer rounds that we have all enjoyed. And let's face it, let's flash forward and just think where things are gonna go. I don't know, Dank Division, what do you think? Oh. Get them to hit that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What do the numbers mean, Dink? We're wasting valuable time.